Hello, my name is Hannah. My team name is SG2. I'm nine years old. I'm from Egypt. I live in Morgada. From the Robotic Challenge, I learned how to program the robot to be intelligent as possible as I can. How to use the RGB sensor to detect any color. I learned that the robot have ultrasonic sensor, color sensor, position X and Y, and compass sensor. I am participated in Co Space Rescue under 12. The main problems. I know that the robot sometimes can collect the object as well. I solved the problem by increasing the color value and to slow down the robot. The problems. The right bottom area, which I called it a dangerous zone. When the robot enters the dangerous zone and sees the wall smaller than, smaller than 20 and the compass is bigger than 170 and smaller than 190, so the robot will turn 90 degree. After this, I program the robot if the, if the compass is bigger than 80 and smaller than 100, so the robot will turn into the dangerous zone. The robot sometimes falls into the trap and suck inside. By color sensor RGB, I took the value of the trap and I programmed the robot. If the RGB detects the dark blue, so the robot who moves in the A speeds forward speedily. After many trying and solving all problems, I know that the robot performs better and the score maximized. No zone and moving smoothly around the map. At the first, I program the robot to turn to pick up some objects from, from the blue zone, then the robot go and move from randomly. The challenge is working with color sensors to finding objects. When any of the RGB sensor detects the any object and the loaded object is smaller than 6, so the robot will be ready to pick up the object. So the robot will be so the robot will stop for 3 seconds and the left one equal 1. Goes out from the loaded one. When the robot enters the nurse zone, if the ultrasonic front is smaller than 20 and the compass is, uh, is uh, bigger than 170 and smaller than 190, so the robot will turn 90 degree. And if the robot sees the wall smaller than, bigger than 80 and smaller than 100, so the robot will turn and go like this, the robot see the trap, then the robot goes out. Go to Google, go to collection box. When the robot is fully loaded and the robot is searching for the collection box, so I use the ultrasonic front sensor and compass and position X and Y to help the robot turn to the collection box. Purple marble. The robot spends a lot of time on the map searching for the collection box. So I program if the robot sees the purple marker with the RGB sensors, so the robot will turn and go to zero degree towards the collection box. Green marker. I used the green marker to help the robot. Uh, the robot goes to the collection box. Like this, you can see that the robot avoid the wolf and the robot see the the green marker, and the robot goes to the collection box. That challenge can be broken down into many tasks such as trap avoiding. 
If the robot sees the yellow warning line, it refers turn left or right depending on the situation. Go to collection box using purple marker. Task 1. Robot de detects purple. Then the robot will turn 0 degree to the collection box. Task 2. Robot moves forward towards the collection box. Let's watch the game. The robot turn. The robot is moving randomly until the robot is the color sensors to find the object. You, uh, and if the loaded object was six, so the robot find object, the robot pick up one object from the danger zone and the robot go out easily a few minutes later. Wow, the robot bring three object three super object. I wish the robot bring one from them or two. The score is 1080 now. If the robot bring one object so it will be 100 and if the robot with deposit, it will be 1200. The robot avoid the wall and now the robot will go to the collection box. The robot is the green mark. Also, I uh, remember the robot is the robot is the green mark or bigger than three. The robot, yes, yes, I use the robot green one from them. The Robot pick up one object, one super object. Four, three, two, one. I use the machine to let the robot bring one object only, any object. AI algorithm. Go to blue zone. It helps the robot to pick up some objects from the blue zone. Go to deposit. It helps me to make deposit easier. Purple marker. The purple marker helps the robot to go to the collection box. Tools and resources are ultrasonic sensor, color sensor, position X and Y, compass wheels, time and length. Adversaries are deposit, move around the map, avoiding goals and obstacles, avoiding trap, finding objects, position. This is the flow chart and the flow chart helps me in programming. Of uh, debugging. After I finished uh, planning and programming, that performs better now. I am thinking about adding a new statement to help the robot to lose the longer time in the blue zone. My highest score is 1290 and I am continue trying to improve it. I use different methods to solve some tasks such as um, zone and purple mark. If I were asked ask to solve the game change again I will add new statement for tracking I will program the robot to move beside the wall the distance between the robot and the wall maybe from 10 to 15 centimeter to pick up the super object if RRGGB I will program the robot to pick up RRGGBB objects to have more super objects which will increase my score. My learning experience from a from Cospace robot I learned how to write my first C code to program the robot. The robot have three ultrasonic sensors two RGB color sensors, one compass and 
sensor and mode. How to draw a flowchart.